So in the other video with this blog post, I showed you how to do the filter with the drop down. So that's this page right here on this document. And this document, of course, will be linked in the thing so you can create your own copy and play around with the equations in here. But what I'm going to do right now is do some little different. So in this example, I used a filter equation and then this drop down to be able to pull out just the students who are taking that course. So I could look at all those students in there. But let's say I want to do something a little bit different. Let's say I want to kind of look at just the courses and I want to see the grades pulled in for that courses. So this is kind of a thing where I don't care about the students. I just want to see the grades we get. So in the data set two, you kind of see we already did that here, right? We took in our courses. So I might copy this again. These are all the unique courses that you see in this column here. I'm going to go back here for a second. I'm going to do courses. I'm going to paste special. I always paste values only if I'm just copying the data over because that last column was created using a unique function. I don't want to copy the unique function. I just want to copy the data. Um, and I always pull this out just for fun. Sense. So let's say I want to see all the grades. So again, we're going to use a filter equation for this. So I type in filter. I'm going to do I mean, equal sign and then I do the filter. Uh, I'm going to go back to my data set here. And again, I just want the grades. So I'm just going to want this. And then I delete that. So now it says F2 to F. So it goes all the way down. We're going to hit comma. So we did the range first. Now we're in the condition. Now the condition is that I want only the grades where the course, and again, I'm going to select courses, go down, and I'm just going to delete that last set of numbers. So it becomes E2 to E, where that's equal to the course that I have. Now if we go back, again, I'm not going to end the equation yet. I'm going back to the tab I was working on. I want the ones equal to algebra here. So the ones in A2. So I'm going to close this up. And I see all those. But here's the problem. I don't want those to go down. For me, I'd like them to go across. And the reason why is because I want to be able to see all the grades for each of these courses. But I can't get the AP lit grades because there's already something here. So now I need to use transpose. Now transpose will pretty much rotate my data 90 degrees. So instead of going down horizontally, it's going to go out to the right. Uh, sorry, instead of going down vertically, it's going to go out to the right horizontally. So I'm just going to go here before the filter equation. Now I'm going to write the word transpose. Put that into our lovely little brackets here. So now you can see it's going to transpose this whole equation. So I'm combining these two. Now when I hit enter, boom, gets rotated 90 degrees. So my vertical data becomes horizontal. Now I can do the same thing for each of those things. But I can't copy down just yet. Now here's the problem. So I can do one of two things here. If I copy down this equation, you're going to see something change here. It's going to go F3 to F, which means I'm missing all of row two. So now let's undo that for a second. Uh, so instead here, again, if you don't know these tricks, there's a couple tricks here. One is I can add the, the dollar signs in front of that. And that will mean that when I copy down the equations like that, it won't add a new row. So like if I now copy this down, it's going to lock those values. So now those are locked. That's locked. That's locked. That locked. I didn't want to add the dollar sign to this part here because for this equation, I want to equal to algebra. This equation here, I want to equal to AP lit. And so now I can take this, I can copy that down, and it will work for each of those things. And so now I can see that this equation here is first off, it's doing the filter from that data set, it's bringing in the grades. Where the courses are equal to AP lit. Again, that's where A3 is. A3 is right there. Then transpose is making go across. So now I can see all those lovely data points right here going across, which makes it easy. Now I'll show you some real fun, real quick, just to add a little thing here. Um, so I'm going to go back to, nope, we're going to do it. Um, I could sort all the grades by put the E unique function here. If I sorted all these, again, I'd want to pull that down and then I could sort by here. Kind of interesting thing is that the filter transpose here would also be sorted. So we'll actually do that real quick. So I'm going to go and sort. So first off, just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about, you know, it's like here I can see B's first and there's FA. That's not the sort I want. So I'm going to go back here for a second. Sorry. I'm going to now go and sort A to Z. Boom. There you go. And now if I go to filter transpose, they're all sorted kind of a funnel thing except for it doesn't know how to put a plus before the a but that's all right that's a minor thing that's just a simple thing so you rewrite this yourself so that's an easy way you can combine the transpose function with the filter function that we used previously so kind of a fun little way to do this it allows you to easily identify and look at the data you need to to pull out only what you want and look at ways that really makes it easier to understand the data you're looking at